Coca-Cola pays the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Diabetes Association, the American Cancer Society. We did that in spades, millions of dollars to groups that would do that for us. So we just went down the list of institutions Americans trust and tried to get them money. That was my job. The key thing that the food companies know is that ultra-processed food, which is now up to 70% of our diet, is a science experiment. They're hijacking our evolutionary biology, and they're making the food addictive. And working for the food companies, the first part of the devil bargain is making that food normalized. So we paid the USDA uh, advisors. 95% of the folks that make our nutrition guidelines are directly paid for by food companies. That means the USDA recommends added sugar for two-year-olds. They say up to 10% up to of a two-year-old's diet should be added sugar. We pay the lawmakers themselves. We pay the regulatory agencies. Uh, literally, the American Diabetes Association sets the standard of care for diabetes, accepts money from Coca-Cola. So we first, we normalize this addiction crisis. When you do a brain scan of a person eating ultra-processed food, it fits all the criteria for addiction, and we've gotten people addicted. Food and ultra-processed food is causing absolute devastation in America. Nine of the 10 leading causes of death are foodborne illnesses. If you take down ultra-processed food, you are eliminating diabetes, you're eliminating heart disease, you're putting a stab to the heart of cancer, many forms of cancer metabolic related. Even Alzheimer's is now called type three diabetes. It's so closely related to our diet. Dr. Phil, the reason I'm speaking out is because a lot of us are parents and I have a small child and children are running into an absolute buzzsaw. We're so metabolically dysfunctional as adults that children are now developing prediabetes and metabolic dysfunction in utero. And kids now, 50% of teens are overweight or obese, 25% of teens have fatty liver disease, that's tied to the mental health epidemic where 40% of high school seniors have a mental health disorder. We're poisoning our kids and it's the biggest issue in the country. So we're getting really sick because of ultra processed food and then the food industry and the pharmaceutical industry which profits from being sick absolutely rigs the debate to make this normalized and obfuscate the problem and frankly blame the American people instead of the system itself. So we, we at, at Coke uh, paid the NAACP uh, prominent civil rights groups to say it was racist to take away food stamp funding from Coca-Cola. Today, the top item purchased on food stamps is sugary beverages. So you're saying Coca-Cola went and paid the NAACP to call anybody racist that was resisting the sugar tax. This was reported in the New York Times and throughout the media, the NAACP, after accepting millions of dollars from Coke when I was working for them in 2010, 2011, called anyone who questioned the idea of taking food stamp funding away from Coke racist, saying that lower income kids, you know, really enjoyed their soda and it was a personal choice issue.